transfer method today. Um, one of the easiest uh, transfer methods uh, there is, I would say. So it's a transfer method where you either use graphite paper or you use graphite like a pencil. You color on the back of an image and then you lay it down on something and you trace over it. The image is then transferred, transferred, onto whatever you're putting it on. In this case, it's a table. And then you remove the image and you put something more permanent down. Like what I'm using is um, a Sharpie paint pen. Or, I mean, if you want to get really crazy with it, you could like actually hand paint it on there. Um, even a Sharpie would probably work. Might bleed a little bit when you put a clear coat on though. So I would be cautious of that. Um, and the Sharpie paint pens work really, really well. You can get paint pens in other colors and other brands, like like this bad boy, Neon. I mean, it's just painters, it's not like Joanne, Michael, stuff like that. Uh, the Sharpies ones come in water-based and oil-based. So that it's something to look out for because I've used the oil-based ones which I like better and they come out matte instead of glossy. But when you do the clear coat on top, um, it runs. So you don't want to do that. No. So, um, yeah, let's get into this. All right, so here is the printout that I got at Kinko's. Um, you can see it's the queen of probably hearts. And I messed with it in Photoshop so that there wasn't as many details because I just wanted it to be flat, black, and white. Uh, my dad traced the back with just regular pencil. You do not have to be this detailed. You can literally just go over it with one, like, you can use even a stick, um, like the graphite stick, and, like, rub it on. That's my daughter, Addie. She's going to help out. So you, want, so you want to cut out your image, leaving an edge on all four sides so that you can tape the image down, and so that way it won't move while you're tracing or if you stop for a while and then come back. Um, I only did it on two sides because my image goes off the table on the other two sides, so there's nowhere to tape it. Okay, here we go. So I'm just tracing over the black. So pretty much outlining the black. So you're not going to like color in all the parts that are black that are solid. You just need to outline it so you know where you're going to be coloring with the black. I'm going to be using a paint pen with this, and so all the black parts are going to be colored with paint pens, so I just outline. Um, you don't have to press that hard. You don't want to press that hard because you'll leave an indent in the paint on the top of the table. And um, you can do it as sloppily as you want or as quick as you want, you know, as long as you know you can replicate the image that you see. So if you're not very good at drawing, you might want to be very detailed with your tracing. But if you're just trying to get a basic outline for what you're doing, you can just, you know, do it pretty quickly. Every once in a while, you'll lift up a corner and check and make sure that, you know, you're getting it all down right and that you can check the areas that you missed or haven't missed. I'm going to speed it up a little bit because it, it is a little time consuming. A lot, especially this, there's a lot of little marks and a lot of little shapes to go over. Whenever I do this, I want to be like, da na 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 Okay, so this is what it looks like without the black part um, when you take away the paper. It should be a lightly traced on um, image, your image. And what I'm doing here is I'm going in with a black Sharpie paint pen. I found the Sharpie ones are the best. And I'm just tracing all the lines. I have the image um, next to me to make sure that I'm coloring in the parts that are supposed to be colored in and not flipping the black and the white and making it an inverse or anything. Um, a few tips too when, when tracing, with especially with the Sharpie paint pens or any paint pen. See how um, that one big area like looks very um, like not solid, I guess? It's because with the paint pens, like it, you can't really go over it enough in the very beginning because it's like it'll take up the paint as you go over it. So just wait a minute and literally they dry so fast. You wait literally a minute and you can go back over it and it'll go on even smoother than it did the first time. So, I mean, you can just do a basic trace and then go back in and color in the parts you want to be like either thicker or darker and just make sure you don't put your hand on it for a minute. Otherwise you'll smear it or you'll get it on your hand and then you get it somewhere else and the paint pen does not come off. Mm -mm. So yeah, it's a little time consuming so I'll speed up the rest of it into a serious time lapse. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you have any other certain transfer methods that you want to learn about. Um, I've probably done them, and if I haven't, uh, I'll learn a new one and we'll...
learn it together. Also, while I was editing, I noticed that I said the oil-based paint pens are the ones that bleed when you put a clear coat on. It's not. It is the water-based paint pens that bleed when you put a clear coat on. And those are the ones that come out matte and the oil-based come out glossy. And that's what I'm using on this table here. So if you guys have any questions, um, leave them in the comments down below. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Um, and if you like this video, hit like, subscribe, all that good stuff. So here's the finished product. Um, the only thing I did after drawing it on is I put a polyurethane gloss clear coat on top. I hope you guys like the way it turned out, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye. Okay. Okay, here we go. Here, here we go. We are doing a transfer method. Anyways, let's get under the